ukumbi wa KICC the Kenyatta India International Conference Center Amphitheater was the venue of the launch of the first ever annual report launched by the Commission for the Implementation of the Constitution. While breaking down the journey the Commission has traveled, since it was constituted, the Commission's chair took time to outline the challenges the process continues to face. Unconstitutional provisions in uh, certain enacted laws and disregard of the due uh, constitutional process, uh, limited civic awareness on the Constitution, delay in the oper operationalization of some constitutional offices, uh, failure to develop uh, policies prior to the preparation of bills, non-compliant regulations and administrative procedures, uh, the lack of uh, uh, legislation to date on national government, as well as resistance uh, on the part of uh, uh, certain uh, players to change and with it, the continuing uh, culture of impunity. At the same time, he did not shy away from accusing the legislature of bypassing the commission in the formation of key bills, which he noted only serves to bring negative results. In the constitutionally prescribed process, in addition to being a flagrant breach of the constitution, also has other negative outcomes. First, the right of the people of Kenya to participate in the development of legislation, which CIC is bound to ensure and effect, is denied. Second, unconstitutional provisions may be enacted. State officers blatant disregard for the rule of law did not go unnoticed key among them ignoring court orders. Na zaidi kusita kuzingatia na kufuata maagizo ya koti ikiwa ndilo swalaku. Who continue to demonstrate a robust contempt for the Constitution, be it in respect of the process of developing legislation or in refusal to respect and obey court orders. Issues of electoral preparedness also emerged with the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission duly represented by the chair of the launch to brief the public regularly on the progress of preparation. Put to the first test this new constitution and the relationship it ascribes with respect to all the transitional provisions, new institution and structure for a developed system of government, including allocation of national resource. While great strides have been made in the implementation of Chapter 7 on the electoral process and Chapter 11 on the legal framework for devolution, there remains a lot of work to be done to ensure that on the 4th of March 2012, 2013, sorry, elections are peaceful and conducted in a free and fair manner and that Kenya is ready for devolution. We believe the next four months, the remaining few weeks, we can have the chairman and his team briefing Kenyans on a weekly basis where we are, what is happening, what is expected of Kenyans. Part of the recommendations for the full implementation of the Constitution include streamlining of the legislative process, urgent civic education to increase awareness, especially at the grassroots level, calls for political leadership to practice and propagate responsible leadership and politics, respect of the imperative of public participation, as well as fast tracking the operationalization of constitutional offices.